this chess guitar lesson you'll learn how to use pentatonic scales over the 251 jazz cadence. Hi my dear jazz friendlings all over the world. Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. I'll show you which pentatonic scale goes over each of the chords of a 251 chord progression and then you'll learn some cool sounding jazz pentatonic licks over the whole 251. Of course, I'll reveal what musical tools I use to create those lines. I've made taps including two bonus licks scale diagrams, which are not in the video, and backing tracks. And you can download all this from, from down below uh, this video in the description box. Uh, please read the short download instructions right next to each of those li uh, um, links. And now let's have some fun with the jazz pentatonic scale. We're gonna be using the 251 in C major, that's D minor, G altered, and C major. And I've made pentatonic lessons for the minor 7 chord and the uh, major 7 chord already, but now let's take a look at the most common possibilities for all three chords. As you can see, we have three pentatonic scale choices for each chord. For the minor chord, we can use the minor pentatonic scales from the root, a major second above the root, and a perfect fifth above the root. For the altered chord, we'll use the minor pentatonic a flat third above the root, a major second below the root, or a perfect fourth above the root. And for the major seventh chord, we play the pentatonic that's a major third above the root of the chord, a major sixth above the root of the chord, and a half tone below the root. Now you can combine the scales to your taste. You can play one scale per chord or mix two or even three pentatonic scales. This is called pentatonic mixing. A good idea is to play motifs that are shifted horizontally across the fretboard. In the first lick we're gonna be using exactly that technique and also use some nice sounding arpeggios. We can create a cool chromatic effect by choosing certain pentatonic scales. We start with the A minor pentatonic, which is here, the first pattern, I guess you all know this, on the 5th fret. And that's the one a 5th above the uh, minor chord. Then we just go up a semitone and what we get is B flat minor pentatonic. That's the 3rd above the G altered chord, right? A minor 3rd, same pattern. And for the major chord, I chose uh, one down below the root. That gives me uh, the B uh, minor pentatonic. And so we get a cool sequence here. And I chose uh, a motif with a minor seven arpeggio. The minor seven arpeggio is cool because it lies within the uh, minor pentatonic. The minor pentatonic actually is a minor seven arpeggio plus the 11th. So I start with the A, play the minor 7 arpeggio backwards, G, E, C, A. And I have a special rhythm. And now this rhythm is being repeated up a semitone, but I anticipated, actually it's a syncopation, 1 8 earlier. So it has more drive, a push, you know, forwards in time. 2, 3, 4. And the same one up, three, four, and plus in this one, because I have two C major um, seven uh, bars, I play another add-on. I play the uh, minus seven arpeggio from the seventh. This is one of my favorite things to do. I play from the seventh, I hammer to the root of the B, I mean, not of the C, that's the major seventh of the root, but of the B minus seven arpeggio. This is the seventh and this is the root. I'm going to the third, the fifth, the seventh. 
and I play the B string with my middle finger. You don't have to do that, but it makes things, it speeds things up for me. It's quicker than, you know, this uh, alternate picking. And then slide into that last note. All right, now here's the entire lick one at slow tempo for you. Three, four. In the next lick we'll check out some modern fourth sounds we'll get from the pentatonic. That's because the pentatonic has a lot of fourths in there. The, a fourth is an interval always below on the next string. That's a fourth except for the G2B string. Okay, we have plenty of these in the pentatonic so let's use them. A lot of fourths as I promised and we have the uh, D minor pentatonic now that's the first pattern here on the 10th fret check out the uh, download the uh, scale diagrams from the links below okay uh, C minor pentatonic second pattern for the G altered that's a fourth above the G here is the C minor pentatonic that's also the E flat major pentatonic and the uh, B minor pentatonic for the C major, we had that before, playing the B minor over the C. And we have, we go to the uh, third pattern. And I also play the third pattern A minor over the C, one step below. All right, so I have a pentatonic mixing thing on the C major going on, B minor and A minor. All right, I start on one end with the D minor pentatonic over the D minor chord, one and on the A, that's the 10th fret of the B string, one and, now I have a triplet, that's a typical jazz phrasing, one and triplet. Now that's very cool to, to jazz up your standard licks, okay? I go over to that F, then the 12th fret of the D, and the G, it's on the 12th fret of the G. So roll over, then I go to the left side of the pattern again, 10 of G, 10 of D, then the right side, 12 of A, 12 of D. So I always change between the left and the right side. That's it for the D minor chord. Now let's go to the G altered chord with the C minor pentatonic, second pattern. I, the closest fret is the 13th. I always choose a semitone or a, uh, a full tone, a whole tone. So we have a smooth transition, right? Now I play a C minor triad here. This is an inversion of a C minor triad. Actually up until here. And now I play my fourth interval on the, uh, that was 13, 12, 13 of the DJB string and the 11th of the E string. Now I go backwards, uh, descending 13 and 13, that's a fourth. And now I play an E flat major triad. 11 of B, 12 of G and 13 of uh, D. triad is a triplet first of all and it's a major triad you always have two uh, triads in a pentatonic scale we already learned the minor seven arpeggio that's not a triad that's uh, um, a minor seven arpeggio <laughs> and the, there's also a triad the major the relative major in C minor is E flat so you always have that try it in there not the seventh though and now for the C major chord we play the B minor that gives us a great sharp 11th and um, I play in this in the third pattern 
next chord, semitone up. We love semitone transitions. So I play in fourth, 14th, roll over the fourth to the 14th of the G string, D, G string, uh, B string, that's a fourth, two and the 15th. And then we have the 14th of the E string. of E, 15, now I don't play 14, uh, fourth anymore, but I play a little lick, 15, I go down the scale actually, 15, 12, 14 of G and 11 of G and that's a triplet. Alright, here's that whole measure. And then I change over to the A minor pentatonic here. Uh, the second, uh, the third uh, pattern, the same we had here in B minor, just shift it to the A minor. That gives me that G here. I slide, I have a little bluesy phrasing on this last bar. I slide it twice and then I go down the scale. 9, 12 of D and back to 9. And here's the entire phrase number 2 at slow tempo. Lick number 2 at slow tempo. One, two, three, four, one. That's a lot of scales, so let's do it one by one. For the D minor chord, I use the A minor and the E minor pentatonic. Now here in this area, vertical playing, pentatonic mixing. So A minor pentatonic is the fifth pattern. Here is the root. And for the E minor pentatonic, uh, the root is down here, we have the uh, second pattern. So on the first lick, I play that's a C, E, and A. I play, that's an, an A minor triad. Plus this C here on the fifth of the G string, right? Three, two, two, five. I make a pull off, and now I go to the E minor pentatonic and I play the G triad. It's here, included in this bar chord. B, D, and bar over to G. And here's another B. So A minor triad to G triad. Now I, we have the G altered chord and I play the F minor pentatonic first. I slide up here, that's the third pattern, but I immediately go down to the second pattern. The second pattern is here and we're also going to be using the C minor pentatonic is the fourth pattern. All right, so we have that slide and go back to the fourth, the fourth, and the fifth. And that's an A flat major triad. I just moved the G triad to one step up, one semitone up to the A flat. So a G altered, a semitone up major triad. Good recipe, good formula. And then I go to the C minor pentatonic and I play an E flat major triad. We had this before up here, now we play it down here. Then uh, we are on the C major chord now, going to the fourth. And uh, I play the B minor uh, pentatonic. Why is it such a favorite of mine? It has that F sharp in there, which is the sharp 11th, and it gives such a cool sound. Actually, what you have to know is that F sharp, the sharp 11, is part of the fourth degree of the scale. We are now in the one degree, two, five, one is the chord progression, right? But in modern jazz, modern sounds, you play the sharp 11 Lydian sound a lot. So it's not really a, an avoid note, it sounds really cool. So in this lick, I really focus on it. I start with it and I will also end on it. it sounds really cool. So um, I'm now in the B minor pentatonic 
Uh, what pattern are we in? The fifth pattern, actually. I, I'm here on that fourth fret, and I slide sometimes. I don't slide to the seventh, to the octave, actually. Sorry. Uh, to that other F sharp on the seventh fret. Then I have a little chromatic. That's not forbidden, even in uh, pentatonic scales. Chromatics make everything jazzier. Being placed at the correct timing, of course, on an offbeat. Uh, F to E, and I go down the scale now. Seven, four, seven, four. So that's a little triplet. Triplet. And now I go to the uh, E minor pentatonic. That's also a good scale for the C major uh, chord. And I play the E minor arpeggio. And then I slide up to that F sharp. And here's the entire lick at slow tempo. Three, four. If you're interested in some more cool soloing, check out my soloing playlist, especially uh, the other videos on the pentatonic or, uh, for jazz usage. And also check out my jazz bebop lines for 251 chord progressions in major and minor. I hope you liked this video. If you did so, please give it a fat thumbs up. Share the love and the knowledge. And I see you next week. Servus. Baba.